<laughs> but it feels lighter because well, when I wait the queue, see what I do is I, I have three different pins. Uh, Hello, this is Vanessa de la Cuetra with Inside Pool Extreme News. I'm here with Tony Robles, who just took down the IPT Ultimate 8 Ball Challenge against Carl Boys with a score of 15 to 12. How do you feel, Tony? This is your third match in a row that you've won. I feel absolutely great. I've been playing in so many tournaments lately, like I said. I keep saying this over and over. I started that Predator 9 Ball Tour. I'm playing every weekend. We're about to have our sixth consecutive tournament for the six, you know, six weekend in in a row I play against Miko Thorsten those guys help me out a lot to you know to stay in stroke and stuff like that and the top players in New York so I feel really really good right now I think right now I know I'm ready for a straight pool match with Mike Siegel so you've now turned into actually the loud assassin more than anything yeah. well I mean you know uh, that's something that I've always wanted to do I've never had the honor of playing uh, Mike Siegel in a straight pool match so hopefully uh, we can uh, talk about maybe doing that so this is an actual challenge uh, uh, yes, it is. Great, great. Well, getting back to your match here, though, let's, I mean, the score went back and forth so many times, and the aggressiveness in the beginning was there, very intense, and all of a sudden, towards the end, when you were on the hill, instead of kind of going for things more aggressively, safety started coming out. Why was that choice made, and when did it, why did it come then? Because that was actually the first time in the match where the ball spread out in a way that was very awkward. And had I taken the chance to run out, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten stuck towards the end, and uh, that puts me at a big disadvantage. Hold on, the first time the ball spread out awkwardly, I believe after many, many breaks, a lot of clusters were formed. Yeah, but I mean, there were tons of them in this rack, <laughs> so that makes a big difference. And you actually have made the first bank in the entire match too, right towards the end as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that was kind of like a freebie. I mean, if I make it, I have position, if I miss it, then uh, he doesn't really have a shot. So that's why I took, took the risk with that one. Now, there's a couple of debates as to what the turning point was. There was one where, let's say it was, I think, 12, 14, and then all of a sudden, Carl scratched on the break. Now, there was another time where, he, for him, he felt more, it's when it was 7-7, seven, seven, and uh, he missed, I think, a two ball or something like that. What, what do you think the turning point you know, was? I'm going to tell you what the, what the turning point was. Um, when I was up, I believe, 4-2-1 or 5-2, to two, uh, the cameraman, the camera crew here, called for a five-minute break, and I was in the zone. I had run three consecutive racks without a miss, and I just felt like, could not, like I could not miss. I called my girlfriend during that, and I realized that I just calmed down. And I said, you know why? This is kind of messed up because I feel like I have to reset again. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anyway, I want to tell you I love you, baby. Oh. This is for my girlfriend, Gail. <laughs> I love you. Well, after these great shout outs, where are we going to see you? So we want to see you with Mike Siegel next in a straight pole match. Is that correct? Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, great. Well, the offer is out there, Mike. If you can hear this, I think you're behind Mike, me. I want you. Oh, you've heard it here. Just come to InsidePoolMag.com. Let us know. And for more great videos, go to the same site. Vanessa de la Cuetra with Inside Pool Extreme News with Tony Robles taking down another great victory. Thank you. Okay.